my name is Chanda Musanya, popularly known as Mr. Chunks. I'm a guitarist all the way from Zambia, Southern Africa. I'm here to share with you how we play, how we approach Kalindula, which is a certain type of music found in Zambia. Yes, there are, of course, there are a lot, a lot, they are countless because Zambia consists of like 72 tribes and others have got different types of music. But this specific one is from the northern part of Zambia, from the Bemba land. Of course, where I come from, I'm Bemba. Yes, so I'll show you part by part how we put this together because African grooves have got like a lot of stuff going on and then they get a bit confusing when you just get the end product. Like you can't really know like, how was this built up? How was this? So in this video, I'm going to show you steps, step by step, how we build this one whole sound that gets a little confusing for most people around. Okay, let's get this going. So I'm going to express this, 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 this beat I'm going to explore for you is, is played in three, four time signature. Which is the one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. It's played in the three, four time signature. So I'm going to lay down a very, 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 very chord, basic chord progression with nothing complicated in the key of D. I'm going to play the D, A, G, and back to A, then D again. Okay, let's get going. So I'm going to show you how we do this. So this is G, the A major, G major, A major. That's the pattern we'll be using. So from this, how do we, how do we, because this is very basic, like somebody would wonder, does it really come from this? Yes, it does. But now, what do we do? So we are working with an ensemble. The guitars we play in this, in this, in this pattern are all derived from a traditional ensemble from the northern part of Zambia. So they usually play three drums to make one ensemble. And then what do they do? So we get one pattern first. I'll use three different patterns of drums in the ensemble, but I'll start with one. We get one pattern, which is known as the Sensele. The Sensele drum pattern goes like, we call it the Sensele because it goes like, it has a sound like Sensele, 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 Sensele. Even the guitars, as we play the guitars, they just point that the Sensele, 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 Sensele. So I'm going to show you how we do that using the congas, of course, artificial congas on the keyboard, but you're still going to get the sound, I'm pretty sure. It's like, it goes like this, sensele. So the question now is, how does this pattern, where do we fit it in, in the groove? In the groove, because you don't just start it anywhere, like sensele, sensele, anywhere. It's going to be, you're going to mess it up, of course. So. I'm gonna show I'm gonna play the beat here, beat that the basic drum pattern that we follow, and then I show you how to play the congas on that, and then you'll be able to understand how to bring in the guitars. So I'll just play the beat for you and then you follow. So the beat is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. It's in three, four times signature as I mentioned. And then the the the, 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 the sensory pattern comes in like this. That's the pattern, that's the sensele pattern. So this exact pattern is the pattern we bring on the guitar. Sensele, 
sucede. If you observe closely, you notice that it's exactly the same pattern. Tensele. It's the one we are bringing here. Tensele, 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 tensele. So at this point, after I've explained how we put together the groove and the sensitive drum pattern, like the sensitive drum pattern, getting it from there to the guitar. I'm going to show you how we bring in the other pattern, which is called the Ichibitu. Because, of course, this is this is this is a brew. It's like a thread. You get two things. You get this and this, and then you merge them together to make one thing. So it's a little confusing if you do not understand but when you follow this video step by step you're gonna have a full understanding of what's going on here so now i'm going to show you how we play the ichibiti drum pattern and then we put it here so it goes back to the same thing i was saying to say now how do we put it in the groove, inside the drum pattern, like when we have drums, a full drummer playing, how do we play it, where does it start, so that we have a full understanding. So I'm gonna play the drum beat again for us, and then we see where we put it. One, two, three, one, two. So the drum pattern for each beat is So now this same pattern we have to bring it on the guitar. So I'm gonna show you how we do it slowly, slowly on the guitar. Simple, right? Exactly. So from here now, I'm going to show you how you merge these two, these 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 two different patterns, and what it sounds like. Actually, you will be surprised how amazing this will come out. But before I go to that, I would like to explain one thing. There is also, after you're done laying down these rhythms together, what does the lead do? What is that one thing that you're going to use to remember the song that will show you to say, okay, that is the song because we identify songs differently. So the lead plays a simple melody. It's just a melody on top of whatever is going on. There will be a melody. Yes, that's the lead. Of course, there is the bigger one because I mentioned that we use three. There are three drums in the ensemble. Of course, I've talked about the sensele, the ichibitiko, and then there's a tumba, it's big. It's, it, the role of that is taken up by the bass, the bass player. But of course, in this video, I'm not explaining about the bass. Of course, we'll do that in our, in our next video or the other video. But just for you to understand, the bass player plays the itumba, it takes up that. So now for the guitarist, the lead guitarist, it's melody. That's what we are going to do. But before I play the melody, I'll play all those things together and then I play the melody on top so that you understand what's going to happen. So now we have everything we need for us 
to play the melody. So now I'm going to quickly run through all the components that we have before I actually play the melody on top of all the grooves. So here we go. So the first thing we had was, of course, the basic rhythm chords, progression, D, A, G. Then from this we go, of course, to the sensele pattern. After this, of course, the, the chivitigo pattern. All this together now, all this together now, it's gonna sound something like this. So, of course, you can hear. Sensele, 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 and the chimney This whole together gives us the groove. We have something to sit on, to dance with. It's a very happy groove, man. Like you go with it. And then from here now, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna play a simple melody. A melody you just create, it's not fixed, it does not have rules of course, but you have to, have to do these things. Soothing, very sweet, something very sweet, memorable. Somebody can easily remember. Just a little variation because melody goes up and then little variation before it goes back. way we create we create one of the Zambian sounds of course from the northern part of Zambia very simple of course there are a lot of others so for you to know more more I think you need to follow more of these videos I'm gonna show different 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 things but for this one this is what we have we are done all the best in exploring this hope you have a good time thank you